Hey guys, it's Blind Toes. Well, today's video is gonna be about how or um, how to play Yu-Gi-Oh while blind. Yes, playing Yu-Gi-Oh as a blind person. Well, you're asking how because it's a card game for you know sighted people, but. I found a way how to play, and you're asking, what is Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, it's a um, it's a card game, and uh, if you hmm, uh, like go watch the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, like I did, I didn't really knew there was a card game until I went to you know like a toy store, toy store, and saw a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, starter deck. I was like, wow, I didn't know. So, you know, back then like I could see, you know, and then so bought it. I read the rule book and then, you know, they really had no one to play with, so. Uh, so I left it aside, but then, you know, later on, you know, a couple years later, then I uh, like had some, you know, saw some uh, of my family members, uh, you know, uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, oh, cool, you know. So I started like uh, playing again and and uh, properly uh, like I learned how to play too, uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh. But they were uh, playing more for like for tournaments and stuff. But you know, uh, like I mostly played for like you know fun, <clears throat> fun. You know? So. The way you play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm gonna do uh, the basic uh, explanation because it's 2019 and Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten a lot more, uh, I say not like difficult for beginners to learn, but like uh, if you do want to play it, then I suggest you just go to you, uh, to YouTube, type it in the search bar how to how to play and they would explain more than I'm gonna do because I'm gonna exp explain it for the just explain it the basic way. Well, <sighs> the basic way is like each player starts with 8,000 uh, life points, and each of us has a minimum of a 40 card deck, and each deck would have like you know on like a different themes to you know. Cause like yeah, you know, we get to customize our decks like the way we want to play or what theme. And if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, yeah, there are uh, different types of decks like a Dark Magician deck, uh, now a Dark Magician Girl, and a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, a Fairy deck, and an Elemental Hero deck. Each of those decks plays a different way and uh, different uh, styles too. So there's many different ways that you, you can play. Well, <clears throat> and the way you uh, get your opponent, opponent's life points down to zero is uh, using um, your monster cards, spell cards, and trap cards to beat your opponent. And how do you get your points, life points down to zero? Well, you use your monster to battle their monster. And like the way you get it down to your opponent, opponent's life points down is to say, my monster card has an attack point of 2,500 and his monster is 2,000. And since my monster has a higher attack points, my opponent's monster gets destroyed. And they would lose 500 life points because my monster is 2,500. So, and theirs is 2,000. So, since my monster has a higher attacking point of 500, that 500 will get subtracted from my opponent's life points. So, it would be 7,500. Uh, so, he would have left 7,500 uh, life points. So 500 is subtracted from 8,000, so we 7,500. Now, uh, like there are the spell and trap cards. Well, the spell cards can be used on your turn, 
uh, like activate on your turns and there's many different types of spell cards too like uh, equip car equip spells field spells uh, just all types of uh, different types for like different situations for the game you could use it to revive your own monster or uh, have a spell card to search through your deck that a specific card that you need or to uh, stop your opponent's uh, spell and trap cards too. And then you have the uh, trap cards too that can be set as a trap like face down and then it can only be activated on your, uh, your opponent's turn. So like uh, if your opponent was trying to activate a spell or a trap card, your trap card would would be able to, um, on the text of the card, you know, it depends on, on like what it is. Let's say, you know, your trap card can only be activated if your opponent activates a trap or a spell card. And then once you activate your a trap that would destroy their trap or spell or if your trap uh, uh, states on the card that you can destroy your opponent's monster I like it if he uh, if he summons it to the field okay and sorry about that I forgot to explain the field <laughs> yeah so it'd be like you would have uh, like a row five, one, one, two, three, four, five, on top, and then another row of uh, like a, a bottom five for your spell and trap. So it'd be like the bottom row five would be known as your spell and trap card zones, and the top part is your monster uh, card zone. Then you have a little side for your graveyard that monsters got destroyed or your, or your trap or spell cards that like you used up already so then like yeah so that's just the basic zone because uh, nowadays is a little bit more because like a little bit more like a technical now but uh, hey like you can you can look at it at like your own time for you know the other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh videos okay and the way you win I think I, I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, is get your points, life points down to zero, or uh, your opponent runs out of cards. <clears throat> now, how would a blind person play? Well, I noticed that um, the cards were put into a, a plastic sleeve. Oh, like, yeah, so it would be like a uh, covering, you know, like a, uh, like a cover of the card. And I have, a, and I have a example card from my deck here. Eh, you know, it's anyone over here. You know, his name is a uh, Elemental Hero Bubble Man. But right here, see, let me take out the card and show you. And I know, like, you probably right there. Okay, here's the sleeve, and here's the card. Okay, my right is the card and my left is the card sleeve for the card. And if you low vision, you know, have noticed there's a little braille, um, a braille sticker, you know, like from the, I forget the heck, I forgot what's it called, uh, the little, uh, a hand, like the hand brailler. Okay. Well, because like I was thinking, because like I was tired of uh, you know having a person next to me, you know, whisper to tell me what's in my hand. He's like, oh, okay, uh, you're right, like on your right is like uh, this card and this card and this card and this card. Well, I got tired of it because like yeah, you know it took too long. So I remembered that I still had the brailler, a hand brailler, and still knew grade one braille. So. So I took the idea is okay, braille, braille out the abbreviations of the card and also memorize what the card did because like it would be 
really long just to barrel everything and try to stick it on this card, okay? And yeah, and, and like, it, like, you know, it, 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 it almost looks like a, you know, just, just a regular playing card. Yeah, so. So yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> Some of like your monsters would have like no effect or an effect. You know, like, so certain monsters could do certain things and some just have uh, plain text. Two, like uh, Bubble Man, right here, right? And he would have an effect listed uh, on the bottom of the cards and his effect would be if I have no cards on my side of the field and it's my turn, I get to summon him and when I summon him I get to draw two new cards two card two extra cards in my hand during my turn yeah cuz like I totally forgot I spaced out cuz like during the beginning of the game each person draws five cards and then like you either roll a dice or flip a card flip a coin to see who who goes first yeah yeah I totally forgot to explain that uh, Totally forgot to tell you about that. Yeah. So I just abbreviated like the name of the monster on the you know the sticker and stuck it onto the uh, sleeve and luckily it's plastic so I won't damage the card. So um, yeah. Uh, uh oh, my bad. Wrong card name. Uh, it's El El Elemental here with Shadow Mist. Oh, sorry, face bomb, face bomb. Please no uh, emoji tomatoes. I, I, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> sorry, Shadow Mist. Sorry, yeah. So this card effect would be like uh, if uh, she was special, special summoned, I would get to add a spell card to my hand, or if uh, the card would be destroyed I would get to add a elemental hero card monster from my deck to my hand I'm sorry about that guys I just grabbed a random card from my pocket I'm sorry about that well well for her I even, I wasn't gonna put like elemental hero shadow mist because that's a long or ES uh, wait ESM, I just put it as I like SM, yes. There might be other cards that would like almost same same abbreviations, but uh, like uh, there are uh, you know like you just barrel it out barrel it out how the way you want it to. But for me I just put at SM for Shadow Mist. Yeah, so like Yeah, so like I just use my thumb to read it. You know, like playing poker, you know, so so I wouldn't have uh, someone suddenly tell me, you know, well, like what's in my hand. And uh, this way has uh, gone good. It's like, yeah, you know. And I did know the, know how each card played and the rules too, so it, it helped. Yeah, so, uh, you know, relearning to play Yu Gi Oh! again was. Kind of daunting, but you know, like once you knew, once you you know know the rules and how to properly play, it it, it gets easier. Yeah, it gets easier. Just that, like you know, if you're first starting out now, yes, it's a lot to take in. But you know, like since we have a uh, YouTube now, it's a uh, like it's a lot easier to understand too. Or if you have you know, friends or family that do play, you know, like a, you can learn it that way too. And now you, you have a way, as a blind or low vision, you know, person like, uh, you have a way now to uh, play Yu-Gi-Oh with uh, like uh, your friends or family. That's if they do play uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. And I'm gonna apologize ahead of time if the explanation wasn't that good, because like, uh, uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh card, the card game is a lot more complicated. But 
I figured just uh, the basic excl explanation. But uh, like, if you wanna uh, me to go further, just comment down below, okay? And I'll do my best to explain it to you. So just comment down below, okay? So and I'll and I'll just literally just do my best. So that's that's just it for this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Okay, and so just hit the like button if, if you want to and uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And I will catch you for the next one. Bye. Oh man, I literally just did one. Oh, not bad. Not too, not too shabby. So you know what? I'll keep it. Speech on. Yeah, I'll keep it. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, wasn't too bad actually. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too bad. Uh, 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 I thought it'd be a lot harder. But, uh, you know, yeah. So that explanation was actually. Even though. Stop portrait landscape. Stop recording video button.